Hello everyone, welcome. In this short video, what we are going to do is we're going to use the Bloomberg terminal to find a stock. So first we are going to do is go through different industries and how to find data about those industries, research reports, and then we are going to proceed to find an individual stock. And then we can, we'll go about how to find relevant information about each of these stocks. So this is a quick introduction for you to get yourself acquainted with the Bloomberg terminal and how to quickly gather information. For more details, subscribe to the Bloomberg market certificate that covers quite a bit of an area. And if any other queries, please contact the people in the investment room. And let's proceed and see how we can look up different industries and companies within each industry. So the easiest way is either push cancel, enter, you go to the main menu, or you can just type Microsoft, Microsoft. So here you will see the securities. That says Microsoft Corporation. I will click this. And this will give me an, a menu that gives me a lot of different information. So let's go with the company overview. In the company overview, it will give you security description. <clears throat> so what is the company about? The basic estimates. Uh, what was the issue? Information. Uh, ratios. Uh, revenue. And some information about ESG. At any given point in time, you can just go to related functions menu, click company overview again, and then you can look at quite a bit of information from here, like company litigation, key insights, credit profile, capital structure, debt distribution, and if you want to look at any annual reports or any other related information, you can also find it here. So let's look at key insights. So you can see what is the consensus uh, cumulative average growth rate in EPS, what are the different valuations? What are the estimates available? Some information about fundamentals, uh, some information about industries, and whether there are any deals, merger acquisition activity going on or not. <clears throat> so as you can see, there's quite a bit of information available here. Now we are going to look at the second big section that is our management overview. So let's look at company management. This will retrieve all the data related to company Management, you can see the chairman is Satya Nadal. Uh, Satya Nadella, sorry for my pronunciation. His age is 55. He's been in the on the on as a chairman of the board for 1.4 years. He started in 2021. If you want to look at the executives, this is all the information about the executives, their age, their tenure, their starting date. If you want to see whether which committees they are serving on, what are the changes, whether they are in different boards at the same time, uh, which other companies they are uh, chairing or, or on the boards of what other companies they are. This information is also available in this tab. It would, it's taking a while to get this data, but sometimes it does. So you can see this is all of that. And the last tab is summary. You can see how many directors are there, how many non-executive, number of women, what is the entrenchment index, overboarding, CUA. So this is all kinds of information available here. So what else is available here is management's past snapshot. What is interesting could be how much of the management is, how many shares the management is holding. So you can see uh, what kind of securities they are holding. And uh, let's go back to the main menu. We've got company analysis. What we can do is something more interesting that you might is about research and analytics. The first one you can think about is earnings and estimates, analyst rankings, uh, company guidance, how much the company expects to earn in the next quarter. Let's look at what are the consensus overview. So basically this would give you uh, the consensus overview. What is the EPS gap and EPS adjusted? What should be the revenue, gross margin? So this, is, this basically gives you uh, what is the sort of uh, estimations out into 2023, 2023, Q2, Q3, Q4, 2023, and Q1, 2024. So you can see different people provide their uh, estimates here. So you can see what other people are thinking about the company as well when you look at these reports. Uh, what else you would like to find is this document search. So this document search is a very powerful tool. So basically what you can use this to actually look for the uh, reports available. Uh, for the company, 
like Microsoft, what are the documents, Bloomberg Intelligence, Fundamentals, and these are all kinds of documents that are available on this, well, this company. You can use them to look for information, how Apple to distinguish from Microsoft. So going back to our main industry, we can also use, uh, we have also done, we can also look at the uh, security ownership. So let's see what are the security ownership, who owns Microsoft. So this information is available in this menu. So this is the owners, that is the biggest one is BlackRock. Oh. Sorry, let's go back, current ownership. So Vanguard, BlackRock are the two biggest owners. All, all both of them hold 8.5 and 6.96% of the ownership respectively. If you want to see the ownership summary, this is a very nice ownership summary. How much has shares are held by institutional investors? What is the geography of these investors? What are these investor types? And how much of the shares are held by the insider? So this is quite a bit of interesting information available for you guys to have a look at it. So we can always go back to the main menu and click Microsoft to analyze. So now we can look at about uh, company analysis. So there are quite a bit of analysis available for us. Let's look at something interesting. That is the supply chain analysis. So if you click here, this will give you the supply chain analysis. So this is basically what suppliers of Microsoft are. This is uh, how much they are, uh, their revenue comes from Microsoft. And these are key customers of Microsoft. If you look at, at the bottom of the graph, you will see what are the competitors of the Microsoft. So you can just look at them in the chart form or in the table form. All of these information are available. So if you want to see how much Microsoft is going to make in the future or what are its analysis or what are its relationships with its key customers and key suppliers, you can just go to this supply chain analysis and all of that information is available. So if you click any of these companies, this will give you a supply chain analysis of that specific company. So you can see this is a very, very powerful tool and you can use quite a bit of information in terms of uh, what it, it, it can help you do. So we'll go to the related party uh, questions. Now you can see the, uh, the, the Microsoft Corporation again, and <clears throat> we'll go back to our original analysis. So this was the supply chain of Microsoft. Now what we want to do is we want to do some more analysis. So what we're going to do is uh, company analysis. The next one is financial analysis. In financial analysis section, you will be provided with all of the key statistics, like if you can see market capitalization, enterprise value, revenue, revenue growth, gross profit, all of that corporate finance related information. So what you can see is you want to look at the income statement. This is your income statement, all of the components of income statement and how they are available are available here. You can graph them. You can look at more information about them. So this is a very standardized view of income statement, balance sheet, cash flows, ratios. All of the ratios are already calculated. The most common one, see returns, margins, additional ratios that are available. You can go out down here, look at growth. So these are our growth ratios, credit ratios, uh, uh, op operating leases, liquidity, working capital. So basically all of your uh, 350 or 740 level courses, all of those ratios are already covered here. If you want to look at segments, what type of businesses they are in, in the Microsoft and where the revenue comes from. So this is basically the breakup of that. And then there is ESG component. So, uh, as you can see, there is quite a bit of more information available here. I have just covered some of the most basic ones. And if you can see that you all you have to do is go to Microsoft and then there are these major heads available. Try and look at, at all of these heads. Look at them, play with them, fiddle with them. Nothing goes wrong. Whenever you're stuck, the best way is to push cancel and it will you will go back to the main screen. So if you would like to have some more information about uh, how to use these Bloomberg terminals, the best way to get this information is to look at this BMC, try 
type BMC. This is Bloomberg's markets concept. This is a very nice certification uh, that you can use and you can sign up uh, online. There's another certificate available that is ESG certificate. Both of these are available free of cost to all Messi students, which is uh, which is, the cost of each of these certificates is about $250. Uh, if you were not a student, $149 if you were a student, but Messi School of Economics and Finance has subsidized this. So the cost to you is zero. So please feel free to sign up for these modules these modules cover these topics a lot more extensively and in a lot more details i hope you found this video useful if you have any other questions please contact the people in the investment room i hope you have enjoyed this uh, quick uh, tutorial about how to quickly get some information about uh, uh, different stocks or industry analysis from bloomberg uh, useful and thank you very much and i will uh, see you in our next videos thank you Hi, I'm Aiden. Hi, I'm Ashley. I'm Garth. Hello, I am Bilal. Please consider subscribing to our channel, liking this video, leave a comment with your thoughts or a question down below. Hitting that notification bell is also the best way to keep up to date with these videos to help you on your journey to financial well-being.